my channel. It's Eliza Marku. Uh, it's been a while, but I have a really fun video for you guys today. I am doing a spring summer accessories haul. So I've been doing a little bit of shopping, um, getting ready for, I would say summer, because right now it's June 1st. I mean, I completely skipped spring. I mean, um, but <laughs> I was going through and cleaning out my closet, decluttering, doing a season shift. Let me try to, sorry, this, I'm trying to get my lighting right. I hope this is bright enough. Let me get my brightenings together. Okay, that's better. Okay, so <clears throat> I was doing a summer, spring, summer, like, clean out, kind of purging my closet. I did a little snippet of that, so I'll probably be putting that together and, and sharing that to kind of show you what I, my methodology when I'm going through and kind of going through my closet and moving things along. Um, as I went through all the getting rid of all my winter stuff, storing that away, and bringing out my spring summer stuff, I realized there's some pieces that I needed. Um, and as I told you before, that I'm trying to shop smart and thoughtful and make sure all of my purchases actually make sense. So I started thinking about things that I needed. I kind of went a little hard on the accessories because I, I realized like there's some pieces that I needed accessory wise. Um, I'm also, on the hunt for some dresses that I probably will do also do a haul on that very soon but let's go ahead and get started because okay so the first thing I I got I needed some sandals right so I needed like just a neutral sandal that I could wear with like almost anything right so I've been wanting these sandals for a few years now um and you know let's just i'm just go ahead and do the rant i really wanted the iran sandals the hermes iran sandals but i feel like everybody and their mom is doing like unboxings of those they're everywhere they're like top of the trend like everybody and their mom was buying them and i want like a specific color and they never had my size because i got big feet so i actually went and <clears throat> got some Valentino slides. I guess I could show you kind of the box. So I got some Valentino sandals. So we can see that. Yes, cute little box. They are the um, the V logo sandal. And I've been looking for these for quite some time. I wasn't sure if I wanted brown or black, but I went with the brown. They are so great. I'll do a little side by side with the unboxing. And I've worn these already. They are so comfortable. Ugh, they're so pretty. Let me take the paper out so you can see. They're so comfortable. I wore them, I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but I have worn them once. Um, they're so comfy. They're like the perfect neutral shoe. But they have that pop of the gold V. And if you know, you know. You know, they're very subtle. Um, I just love that gold. I wear gold jewelry. So it's like the perfect sandal, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> these retail for about $7.50. Um, the price has increased. They were, I mean, when I started looking for these, they were like $7.70. I mean, $6 and that increase is insane. Um, Sizing-wise... I am a true size 10 and these are size 40 I would say one of my everyone's one foot is bigger than the other everyone has that so one of these fit perfect and one of these are like I need could use like an extra inch so I probably should have went with a 41 but I was too thirsty and I've worn them already so I'm not returning them um, but they fit perfectly so I'm really excited about those um, but if you are a size US size 10, I would say, of course, size up. Um, this did come with two dust bags if you care about that. Like, if you're traveling and you want to take them, they come with two separate dust bags. That's like unheard of for shoes these days. So that was nice. Um, I will link these below. I love these that much. I'm probably going to buy the black ones because I am on the hunt for a black pair 
of like really nice sandals so i may get my hands on an iran sandal but i want like a specific color and i'm probably just gonna have to go in store um like i stay up sometimes late at night and i check <laughs> just try to get like one of the cool colors but i can't you know so i want a really cute color but it's not possible and i'm still on the hunt for a lot of different things but this was like a fun purchase a fun buy and um i love wedges so they're very comfy and i wanted like a fun color because i don't have too many colorful heels that are super comfy so i wanted to get something fun i got these oh god they're so cute these are by nine west they're kind of a good dupe on the bottega like woven raffia sandals and i love raffia in the spring summer so I'm ex these are so comfy. I got these in a size 10. I have not worn these yet, so I don't have any. I'm definitely gonna style these up. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got um, dress-wise, cause I've been doing some shopping and I'm gonna style these up and show you guys. But I absolutely love, love, love these. They're so comfy. This is like a woven material, it's nice and like soft they're comfortable um they're so cute a pair of like um like Bottega dupes stay here for the dupes y'all because I love high fashion and not to say that I need to spend money on everything I want so I do find things that look give me the look for less right so this is a really good example I have another like Bottega dupe that I'll show you in my dress haul and I'll style that up too. Um, that's like the the mules with the raffia. It, they're so cute. But these are cute. Nine West. They have other colors too. They have like a tan. They had a tan color and they had a blue I think. But yeah. I saw these um, instantly on my Instagram and just bought them instantaneously. Okay, so <laughs> this was a fun, like, just random buy uh, because I just needed a purse for something that, an outfit that I have in mind. Um, I'm going on vacation soon, so I needed, like, something that was lightweight, cute, um, and that was kind of like a little color. And I got this really cute bag, and it looks like the Fendi... The Fendi bag that you're seeing everybody wear on their wrists, you know, it's like, it's really trendy right now. Um, this is from Walmart. Go figure. You can see like this pretty color. I love this blue. They had like a whitish, tannish color and then they had the blue. And I just really wanted blue. I didn't have like a light blue, just bag. Um, it's really cute. I have not worn it. I just opened it. Battery's going low. It comes with a chain, it has a chain and a leather strap, if you can see in the same color. The chain's really cute, you can use that for something else too if you wanted to. It's pretty good, there's a lot of room in there, I have paper in there. I still have the tag on there, but it's pretty good room. I mean, what do you really need on vacation or when you have a small bag? Nothing. So that's what I got it for. That's what I had in mind. Um, the outfit that I have in mind is like a bluish, pinkish, colorful outfit. So I feel like this will like be really cute. And I could wear this all year. You know, I could wear it in fall with like chocolate brown. So this was cute. And I think this was $27 or $28, maybe $29. I don't know, less than 30 bucks compared to the Fendi which is trendy and I don't think I really need it. Good dupe. Okay. This is my favorite of everything. <laughs> this is my favorite purchase of this whole video. Well, besides the sandals, because I started with those first. They were like something that I wanted for years. So I'm really excited about those. But this right here, this right here. <sighs> I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Yes. I got me 
this super cute bag. It's my first Brandon Blackwood bag. And I've opened it already, but let me just tell you, the packaging, this is luxury. I don't care. This is, look at the packaging, y'all. This is so stinking cute. Like, it really is. Got a thank you note. You know, he just said thank you for your purchase. It's printed, but it look handwritten, okay? I feel special. This bag, so I saw this bag. Monroe still, she had this on her channel. Soon I pressed pause and I went and bought it. When I tell you that this is so my style, if you know me, you know I am like a, I like trends, but I love like classic vintage looking pieces that are just like once in a lifetime purchases. <sighs> Let me take the, y'all, I haven't even really opened this. Like I saved this to show y'all. Like, look at this bag. Look at this bag. The details. I mean, how cute is this bag? I absolutely love it. It reminds me of something, my grandma was my fashion icon. This reminds me of something she had in her closet, something that I stole from her. <laughs> I just absolutely, look at how it looks with my dress right now. Like, I'm gonna style this up in so many ways this summer. Like, I am so excited for this bag. I mean, look at the details. Look at the details on here. This is Sorry about one that. my camera died, but let's get back to the bag because, oh, she is beautiful, okay? And I have not wore the bag yet, obviously. The bags are still on. I just literally took the paper off. The paper's still inside. Let's take it out. Let me take it out because this is such a nice bag. Like I was saying, <clears throat> one thing about me is I'm going to purchase something that's unique, right? This is, I mean, the details. This is crazy. Like, you'll probably never see another bag done like this by Brandon. So, yes, Brandon Blackwood. It's a good size inside. I can fit my phone. I can fit my camera. I can fit everything I need. So, this is definitely going to be my summer bag. It's a little bent there, but. Ain't nothing a little hang can't fix. Yeah. A little heat. This will definitely be my spring summer bag going forward. And I'm telling you, Brandon Blackwood is doing something. He's doing something here. And if we don't support, let me just just buy it now while the price is affordable. Because this is under, I think this was under 300 So it's a good price. Like it's a good price. It's a good luxury price. And this is our luxury. This is black homes. Okay, support your people. Support your people. This, uh, I just love this bag. I can't wait to style this up. Um, definitely gonna take this on vacation. The packaging was absolutely amazing. I love the experience and the shipping was fast. I think the price, I'll pop the price up, but it's it's a valuable it's it's such a good and it's the quality i mean like it's just look at these and i'm so nervous about messing these up can you just get every single corner Ugh. look at it don't look at me look at the bag don't look at me look at the bag oh come on brandon so there's definitely other brandon backwood bags that i've been looked at but looking at but when i saw this when Monroe pulled this out, I, I've had this for a while and I have not opened it. And I'm just like, let me open this door review so I can actually like wear it, post some pictures, whatever. This bag, I'm, I'm obsessed with this bag. All right, let's move on. We've, we've spent a lot of time on it. I just like, look at the details. Ugh, I don't ever want to ruin this. I want to keep this forever. I just love this bag. Like I said, 
this is like one in a million type of bag like this is something i would buy at a thrift store or steal from my granny like to me this is like a one in a million type of bag like yeah and for the price brandy you doing something brand's in brand's in let's move on so i also got some sunglasses um uh I've been I've been into sunglasses lately and I've been trying to find more and more sunglasses that kind of make sense I had this outfit in mind and I was looking for some like shades that are different shapes like I kind of tend to go gravitate to the same shape and I'm a big 70s type of girl like I just love the era of the 70s if you can't tell you know the fro is froing Mm. yes but I love the 70s vibe like that's just my thing like I just love it so <clears throat> I got me some glasses here um hold on I'm some wrong ones um some cute little glasses they're pretty simple but I want this is what I wanted I wanted a pink oh a pink tinge girl yes this is exactly what I'm it's like a pinky orangey tinge oh oh it's given oh it's given it's giving 70s day party it is with the hair it's giving and I got these from I'll just keep them on for a little bit. I got these from Nordstrom Rack. I am loving these. For really good price, you know, that's a good place to get sunglasses. Like, if you want designer sunglasses, that's a really good place. There's a lot of <clears throat> different styles that you can get for a really good price. I think this retailed for, like, $4.85 or something like that. And I paid $109. I mean, to me, that's a steal. They're so cute. There's a little Givenchy detail there. It's very simple. But I love it. I love the shape. I love the shape. Like, I love the shape. Like, look at it. With the hair, the dress, tan lines. Mm. I'm giving summer. I'm giving summer. And I could walk in a store with these on and not have to take them off. And I can still see. You can still see me. You can still see my beautiful eyes. Yeah. So I love those. Very fun. The jeans pretty good okay so I got another pair <laughs> of Givenchy like I said I'm looking for different shapes I usually gravitate towards the same shape eyeglass like glasses and they're normally like cat eyes so I'm trying to like venture out and expand my um, expand my collection to something a little more different like each one so i got these and they're like oh i love these and they're like more shieldy now to me these are giving me 2000s like these are giving me 2000s and i love them i love the shield they're not very these are also given on she i also got these from Nordstrom rex still have the tag on haven't wore them you guys are seeing them first um I was still deciding if I was going to keep these, but now that I put them on with the gloss, honey, and the hair, they fit. They fit right into me. They fit for me. I like. These are good airport glasses, too. Like, I can see, but I'm still being shady. I like these a lot. They're shieldy. They are giving me 2000s. <sighs> They kind of giving me 70s too. It's probably my hair that's giving it, but I love it. I love it. They're so cute to me. They're very like a cloudy day. They're an outfit finisher. This is what I'm gonna call the video, an outfit finisher. An outfit finisher. This doesn't really match the motif that I have on right now, right? Like I'm like, I'm more of a, <laughs> the pink ones kind of fit my, boho vibe this is more like a little more edgy right so but i like these these are cute i like the gold rim i like the 
the details around the rim. You can see that. See, they're like lifted off. Very cute. And I think these were 119. So, like those, they have little detail there. I don't think I showed that. Detail. Givenchy detail logo. Like that. I would like I said I wanted something a little different. Okay, so I was cleaning out my closet. And I found a pair of glasses that I bought and have never worn. Mm -mm -mm. This is a shame. I found a pair of glasses that I've never worn and I plan to wear them this summer. I am forcing myself to wear them this summer because I paid a lot of money for these. Okay, got me some Prada shades. <sighs> these are also different shape than I normally go for but they're a little more edgy I, i'm trying to make sure i grab for these this summer when i bought them i had them in mind for fall winter because i wear a lot of black and now i'm thinking i'm still gonna wear them this summer because if i'm wearing black this is perfect so here we go Oh, these are so cute. I still like them. I still like them. I was like, I probably don't even like these anymore. I still love them. Oh, I forget what these are called. I, I have no idea what they're called. Oh, but I still love these. Like, I would wear this now, even though it doesn't really match my boho vibe. It is a vibe. The sunglasses themselves are a vibe with my hair. So... I could see this. I'd wear this like on a beach, on a pier, with a black bathing suit, black dress. I'm going to wear this this summer. I'm going to try and make sure I get these out this summer. Um, they're still not my favorite, but it's been so long since I purchased them, I don't think I can return them. So <laughs> we're going to have to really get these into rotation this summer <sighs> let me know what you guys think i know these are a little different i kind of wish i got black but i was like i always buy black i wanted a white shade and i'm still still figuring it out with these but i like them i mean i, I think i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to get these in this is bothering me I'm gonna try to get these in this summer. Let me know what your thoughts. Sound off below. Ooh, I say I'm real professional. Sound off below. <laughs> All I had in regards to accessories, um, I've just tried to be a little more mindful and thoughtful in my purchases. And I think, for example, like those Prada shades, I bought them in the fall. It's June. I haven't wore them that's a mess like I could sell these because to me it's just like you haven't grabbed for these that's a shame why did you spend the money so I need to make sure and make a point that I actually wear them but I realized that with a lot of things in my closet you know so <clears throat> hopefully I'm just gonna focus on try to make sure trying to make sure I am practical in my purchases pack purchases that make sense they they aren't emotional um and I might do a video on that because I do a lot of emotional shopping and probably everyone does. You know, you're just in that mood to shop or you're just like bored or you see something you're like, oh, this would feel really good for me to buy just at the time. And it's just like, mm, you don't need that. You know, you, you really don't need that. So <laughs> I'm trying to be very mindful. And the things that I purchased, I think, make sense. I'm just going to make sure that. I actually pull for them right um so anyway that's all I have today I hope that was a pretty quick video I know the last video I had was pretty long um I don't like too long videos but I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed my accessory haul if you did 
please make sure you subscribe hit the like button please share the video comment below talk to me let me know what you thought about any of the pieces were any of your favorite were you thinking about buying anything if you had any questions about the sandals because I've wore those or um, the glasses or anything else I'm gonna link everything below so that won't be hard to find um, everything that I mentioned will be linked below uh, I hope you enjoyed it if you've watched this long you you feel in it you like the vibe I'm giving off so if you like this vibe you want to be part of the tribe you better go ahead and subscribe oh she's a whole poet Edgar Allan Poe um so yeah that's all I have today I hope you enjoyed my video thanks again for watching sounding off until next time thank you bye